Let's take a look at how to manipulate an object. First, drag a box onto the work plane. There are three primary techniques to manipulate an object. You can stretch, move, and rotate. To stretch an object, you'll use the white and black squares that are around the edges. The white squares are used to stretch an object from a corner. To stretch, simply click, hold, and drag one of these squares. The black squares will stretch an object using only the edge. And the middle white square will stretch the height of an object. Another way of manipulating objects would be to use the Object Properties drop-down. Once you've selected an object, in the top right corner, you'll see this little arrow button. Clicking on this arrow will reveal the Object Properties. By adjusting the sliders, you can change different parts of the object, including the length, width, and height. This is just one way to be more precise. You can also select the numbers and type in a precise measurement. To move an object, select anywhere that's not one of these squares and drag the object. An alternative would be to use the arrow keys. To move an object up and down, as in adjust the height position, maneuver the camera so that you're viewing the object from the side. You'll then see a black cone on top of the object. You can click and hold this to move the height position. If you need to move the object to be perfectly in line with the plane, simply select the D key. You can think of D as drop. So no matter where your object is, selecting D will always bring it back. To rotate an object, we will use these three curvy arrows that you'll see on either side of the object. If you don't see all three, you may need to manipulate the camera so that you can see them. Each set of curvy arrows will rotate the object on a different axis. By clicking, holding, and dragging, you can rotate the object. When your mouse is on the inside of the circle of dotted lines, the object will rotate in 22.5 degree increments. When the mouse is on the outside of the circle, you can rotate in one degree increments. Each curvy arrow operates in the same way. So using all three, you can rotate the object to any orientation that you'd like it to be in. When manipulating an object, it's really important to use the view cube to manipulate the camera so that you can see the adjustments that you're making. And that is how you manipulate primitives.